Hello guys, welcome back. Today, like uh, we are like uh, I'm gonna start with the most uh, most weighted uh, topic which I have been like uh, st uh, saying from the starting right. That I will be like <laughs> discussing this that it's none other than ILO, our beautiful ILO. So I'm gonna like discuss about this thing today and <clears throat> what are the points are. ILO as a whole, its origin, preamble, mission and principles, and its structure. So I'll be discussing in brief because you know, uh, with respect to exam purpose, it's very important. Okay, sorry. Uh, wait, let me add one more topic, and it's let me write down here. It's convention and recommendation. Recommendation. It's my board. Yeah, conventions and recommendations. Recommendations. You write it down. It's very important topic. All right. This is very important with respect to anything. Like I don't know. Everyone should know. Okay. But then for you, just need experience. And like uh, focus is main there. So, and before I begin, I just want to tell to all the candidates and experience like. Um, my best wishes are with you and I hope you people are like studying very well and like studying hard, preparing well and whatever it might be, you know, it happens sometimes like say, we can't concentrate, yes or no? We feel like how can we concentrate like it's so difficult and like nothing comes in our mind like we sit for study but our mind is somewhere, it doesn't come here but, and during the time what I usually do and if it is very difficult, like you cannot concentrate, just put your earphone, go for a walk. Alright. Walking isn't near way to the road. Just five minutes to ten minutes walk, come back, see, drink some water, pray to God, means do some prayers or meditation, let's say, and then start. I will guarantee you you will be able to. So follow this simple step and you can and, and just write on top of your like uh, study table. Motivation goals like focus is where you just need it might be with respect to job. There are lots of jobs coming out too. So you should be like what? You should be determined. Your focus should be in one point. Then you will obviously like create. No, even if you do not create, you will at least know what you are studying, you will be able to remember. At least you will be able to help somebody and guide somebody, right? So without much Explanation, rather we should proceed with a ILO. So, what is ILO and when it started? See, during the, its origin, let's, actually this will be coming in another topic, but then let's, speak. ILO was created in 1990, you got it, on 1990, with a Treaty of Versailles, and it was after the end of World War One. Treaty of Versailles was signed, right? And among all, everything was signed, only this one survived, it is ILO, okay? And it talks about what? The belief that there should be peace, right? Peace is needed. Social justice should be there. We already discussed what is social justice, so no point in explaining again and again. So ILO, but with respect to treaty or versus questions may be like, uh, with which treaty ILO was formed, or when, which one, World War One or Two? Yes, so how the ILO came into being? ILO was founded along with the League of Nations by the Treaty of Versailles on 11 April 1919. The main date of is 11 April 1919. I'll be just reading out some part because there is nothing to explain. You can even understand uh, on 11, uh, nothing to explain. Right? So ILO was created in response to the conscious that followed. When first World War there people like, knew already like World war what it does it caused de destruction so we need peace you know. so that is the only solution to be tried for yes or no? now it has knowledge from about its constitution it is also its constitution so this is the uh, preamble where universal and lasting peace can be established only if, if it is based on social justice social justice too, i told already yes or no good working condition nice good standard of uh, level standard and equality all those all right so it might be given like where is this line it's a preamble of whose 
and you should know it's a triangle or position of triangle of whom? IL. So sometimes only this will come and you will be asked for you will not got the point. All the questions are generally asked. So next going in mission and impact. What are its in mission? Okay. Impact then you just read it down and promoting jobs and protecting people. Okay. Social justice is essential to universal and it talks about what human rights, human labor rights, person. So its main mission for social justice. Where for universal and lasting peace. Right. So there are like how many members? 187. Okay. And it is an agency of UN nation. And UN nation, you know, UN nation is formed uh, after uh, I think Second World War. Okay, and it consists of around 193 or 95 nations. And this one is like uh, agency of this United Nation. So just try to read once. Okay, even this UN nation. I mean, just go for reading at least in brief. Like try to know what. It is. I will not be explaining. So, okay. Today, ILO's decent work agenda helps advance the economic and working conditions that give all workers, employers, and government stake in lasting peace. It is very true, this last one. So, just read out. There is nothing to explain again. Now, going with again, brief description. Already I have explained, but then I guess uh, twice my slide was made. I am very <laughs> sorry. So, towards the end of uh, second hour, ILO will say, okay. It is uh, second one. After the formation uh, in the Second World War, what they did? ILO like adopted declaration of Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Okay. Here like uh, declaration was adopted by ILO in 1944. This is very important. And the time what they did form. Uh, in 19, uh, they have uh, they have some basic objectives too. And I'll be speaking in the next slide. Yes. And in 1946, ILO became the first specialist agency associated with newly from United Nations. See. I have already told this too, and on its 50th anniversary in 1969, it was awarded Nobel Peace Prize. So when did it was awarded Nobel Peace Prize? On its 50th anniversary, that is 1969. It's a very important. What does Declaration of Philadelphia 1944 mean? So see, the general conference, there was a conference, international labor organization meeting was held in 26 sessions. Session means, you know, 25 sessions, but obviously 26 sessions comes. The same thing I did. On 10 May 19, the conference here comes. See, they have fundamental principles and the thing they have adopted. And what are they? So, declaration of Philadelphia, try to read. And its uh, principles, what are they? Labor is not a commodity. See, we have, I have spoken about uh, commodity concept, right? So, like, uh, when there are like surplus of labor, there will be like low wages. When there is no, they cannot be treated as. Commodity, freedom of expression of association are essential to sustain progress. The workers have right to express and right to form uh, trade unions, so there will be any association. Poverty anywhere constitute a danger to prosperity everywhere. Like let's say this is a small, uh, with respect to this, I'm explaining actually. So here poverty is going. If, even if there is a poverty here, it will constitute danger out here. It means to say that. So anywhere, like we have to try to remove what? Poverty, that means what? If we improve the living standard conditions of people everywhere. So the world wants repair to be carried on with unlitting people within the East Nation, with a view to the promotion of the common welfare. So but we have to fight instead one. The world should be with respect to like bringing like uh, betterment to the common welfare. Alright. So see, this is the structure of ILO. Let's say this is the ILO. It is three. Uh, Three like uh, bodies. What are they? International Labour Conference, the governing body, and the International Labour Office. Okay, this is the main governing body. It like uh, they controls this, this, and this is the conference which they have. The main one. This is the second um, organ. This is the third, and it prepares all the schedule, schedules, schedules, and all those with respect to this in collaboration to this. And this it helps uh, this agenda. Suppose it provides like uh, there are some objectives what we are going to do. So this people, governing body, it tries to make those uh, and try to prepare a report on this. And they form international conference discussion. There was like for example, let's say what they do. To, this is governing body. Uh, problems is identified. Of course, there should be some problem, right? There should be some problem. So problems are being identified. 
Mm, after that, what they do? Uh, they try to like implement with respect to the there is to be one discussion. Okay, they form the board and all those. Then they will have one discussion with respect to employers, workers, and uh, government, and then send that report. Okay, the discussion to everybody means every many member states. That is 187 member states. And after that, they will like they will ask for comments like any changes on them. And then again, they will prepare another one. And then second round of discussion. And after that, it comes into formation. All right. This is the way how like uh, it uh, forms. I hope everybody got the basic idea of like how it should be done or how it is done. Sorry. So this is ILC governing body and hello. So next. Yeah, the first body, that is International Level Conference. See, it, it meets in June every year. At where? Geneva is the headquarter. Okay. And it is the highest authority of the ILO. It, what? It sets the minimum. It sets like international level standards. For example, like let's say for, let's say for, uh, for child level. Minimum age is what? 14 or 18? I forgot. Like, let's say 14. Yeah, 14. So it maintains like international standards. They make the 14 should be mm, this much. So... Uh, every member nation should follow that. Okay, fine. International standard, one standard is maintained. For example, like we, for measuring uh, weight, what do we do? Kilogram is standard unit. <laughs> Kilometer. <laughs> Sorry. Kg. Kg is what standard you need to measure, right? So, something like that. Okay. So, <clears throat> I also provide an international forum. Like what? International forum, like all the member countries. Member countries mean what? Different countries. 187. Uh, countries come in discussion and they like discuss here yeah, world labor and social problems. See, they discuss most labor labor and social problems and uh, uh, elects the governing body of the ILO. And who does uh, this uh, governing body? How it is made? This ILC. Okay, and ILC say like, in the level, each member state has four representatives. You got my point? That means, let's say India. Oh, and India has been the founding member since 1919. From the day it was formed, India is the founding member of ILO. Uh, Try to keep this in mind. And let's say India, India will send one worker, one government, two government, and one employee. See, total four people, uh, four representatives will be sent to this conference. Same thing, all the countries will flow. 187 into four degree. So this is how the ILO, ILC conference, okay, it meets in June every year. I hope everyone is clear. Now, the governing body is the executive council of the ILO which establishes the strategic objective and policy. See, governing body is what I told you now, agenda, also we have like objectives and policy. All they like establish strategy, decision, they make all the you know, what plans and so governing body so what they do? They make tries. Of course they are the one who arrange all this thing. Obviously they have to discuss many times. Tries in here in Geneva and make decisions on ILO policy, like how the policy should be carried out, how the program budget was to use, and how the how to submit this conference. Yes or no? And they also elect what the director general, okay? For every five year term. Now governing body, how many represented they have? Fifty six. See it is more. Because and it also means how many times in India? Three. So how many? Fourteen workers, twenty government, twenty employees. Right. Now what is ILO? We have three bodies now, like you see, going back to the bit. ILO. That is international level organization. Okay. This is ILC government and here is the international level office. It's office, not organization. So we are talking about ILO, that is international level office. It's permanent secretary, keep in mind, of the international level organization and it's operational headquarter. headquarter. Administration and management are decentralized in regional. See, decentralized, it's not centralized, not in one place. We have this in Canada. We have how many? 40 countries. The regional and area branches office are there in 40 countries. One in India, let's say one here, one in anywhere, Geneva. Mm -hmm. No. Leadership of director general. And director general is he's the CEO. Appointed for five year term. Okay? Now, it only is permanent already, I already know this. And everyone is elected every five years by the governing body. Uh, uh, governing body is appointed by whom? By international level conference. And this fellow appoints again, elects what? 
ए डायरेक्टर जनरल ठीक है एंड सब्जेक्ट टू दिस इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द गवर्निंग बॉडी द डायरेक्टर जनरल इज रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर लाइक इफिशियन कंडक्ट ऑफ द इंटरनेशनल लेवल ऑफिस एंड अदर ड्यूटीज ही विल बी लुकिंग ऑफ दिस ऑफिस एंड ऑल द ड्यूटीज असाइन टू यू सो नो एंड यू सी यू एन ओ इज यू एन इज ट्राई पार्टिक एजेंसी Tripartite agency since uh, 1919 and ILO brings together government employees, workers. Oh, for many, when I teach you, it sets what levels can develop policy program. All this uh, you can read and understand. Equality for women, irrespective of male, females, which I talk on this. So tripartite means what? Three. How can you say it's three? Going back again to the next slide. Worker, government, employer. Three people. So it's tripartite. Yes or no? Bipartite means only two. It is employer and worker. Oh, it's clear. So this is the basic things, and like you may pause the video and read whatever it is there. Nothing to explain. Like even if you do, you will understand. Yes. Now we already know what what is I L O. This is I L O. Three parts. This is uh, I L C. Uh, governing body and ILO. There is office. Yes. Now, what is international labor standard? We know that ILO what it it puts international labor standard means some standard is like it sets. Yes or no? The main duty is B. So, what is it actually? International labor standard is a legal instrument drawn by the ILO's constituents. That means three people. See, three people which set out basic principles and right and what what should be done, what not be done, and this is known as. International level standard. So it is divided again into two, known as conventions and recommendations. Convention. What is convention? This is legally binding. Okay. Let's say like, uh, for example, like forced labor, or let's say child labor. Fourteen years below fourteen years, no child. Labor. It sets by convention. Let's say convention is below fourteen years, no child labor. Then it's what? These are legally binding international treaties that are subject to ratification by member states. Ratification means what? If you ratify that, yes, I will be like following this. Then you have to follow by means no matter what, and you have to follow this legal standard. That you cannot like say no, 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 we will not. But once you ratify this, you have to follow. And here recommendation: this service non-binding. It's not binding. It's just like a guideline. Like uh, it's not linked with convention. Here, like it just recommend you or give you like guidelines or advice, like how to make convention. Okay, but here convention once you rectify it, you have to follow. You cannot say no. So in many cases, convention lays down the basic principle to be implemented by ratifying countries. Well, related to convention supplement the convention by providing detailed guidelines. You see. And binding means what? Mandatory as soon as country has ratified a convention and integrated it into national law, it will be like implied to national law. Then you have to like follow it, no matter what. Just if we force labor, a child labor, all this India like uh, ratified. So it needs to abide by this, uh, abide legally. It has to follow. So convention and recommendation. This is very much binding, and this is non-binding. Just keep in mind. It's just a guideline. It is not a guideline, but you, instead you have to follow it. Once it is ratified, okay, you have to implement it. Now, now see ILO. Okay, so it's India. With respect to India, we will be talking not for other countries. India has uh, ratified till date forty-seven convention and one protocol out of one hundred eighty-nine. Total, there are one hundred eighty-nine uh, conventions. So, what are they? There are fundamental conventions. It is known as there are eight fundamental conventions and governance conventions. That is known also priority. There are four. And technical conventions. There are one hundred seventy-seven. And out of these, India has ratified six of eight, three of four, and thirty-eight of one hundred seventy-seven. And total makes it to forty-seven. India has ratified only forty-seven. Okay. It is clearly written. For the same reason, out of these five conventions, India is forty-two. Okay, so this these are the convention. I guess it's very clear. It's very important at least. See, these are the ones which India has ratified. What are they? C zero two is the convention number. Convention number twenty-nine. Okay, 
नंबर ट्वेंटी नाइन सी पोस्ट लेबर कन्वेंशन नाइनटीन थर्टी फेट वेन वॉज इट थर्टी नाइन नाइनटीन फिफ्टी ओके वेन इट केम इन टू फोर्स थर्टी नवेम्बर नाइनटीन फिफ्टी फोर थ्री टू रिमेम्बर सी कन्वेंशन दिस इज वॉट फंडामेंटल I told you, out of uh, eight, India has ratified six. So what are they? One, two, three, four, five, six. See, six. For example, see, it is given your minimum age specified, fourteen years. See, this, for example, like let's say India has ratified this convention, right? So below fourteen years, India cannot like. Okay. Uh, for working like uh, workmen, like say, let's say, no child labor, why we say, fourteen years, no, below fourteen years, no one is allowed to work. Just under, until unless it's family business or uh, or it's non-commercial, then also he should it should he should help his parents for his family business. He should help his parents after his uh, school hours. It is during his free time. He cannot like stop, be be stopped from going to school and just work. Okay. So six and priority we have spoken and then what is it's three, one two three and technically there are around thirty eight I guess ah uh, thirty eight and this is not much important but still if you want to you can always visit this ilo dot org it's their website everything is given there why I am like putting out this this is the one which is important like see actually what happens you know. Not only like to the students or to me or everybody, like uh, there are lots of like sites or study materials, everything. But problem is picking out the right thing, like where to follow. It's available. I know internet. You know Google is like ask any question you will get. But then what are we going to extract? Okay. So I have extracted some. I think there might be some more which are. Hmm, Important. You try to know that thing, and you try to like extract those from at least ILO. Dot org. That is ILO official website. Go there. Go to United Nations official website. Try to know, because you know, you see, the world is a global place. It's a small place, and you have to know about international standard and international things. We need like lots of MNCs, right? Coming, going. So we should know lots of labor laws outside, like PFA ticket. Applicability outside, so these things are very important. And to go to like each student try to do some certification or any course with respect to labor laws. This is very interesting subject. So I have done. I am also doing one from uh, NUGS. So you should also do. And there are many more better options like Excel. I you know go for it and try to. Okay. So I I have a very limited uh, knowledge. So I'm just trying to explain like whatever I know or whatever I, I come across. I hope like these things will be very useful down the line. So at least for the exam purpose, these things are very important. I'll just try to remember. For example, I say Force Labor Convention 1930. What is the number? Ah, uh, 29. And it's from what? Fundamental, fundamental convention. So it might be as yes. which one is not fundamental convention? You may be given even this. Then you should know. Think not not this. Right. So these are the few things, and um, which one India didn't ratify? India has not ratified two core fundamentals. That is, from eight India have ratified only six, and which one India didn't ratify? Freedom of association and Bureau eighty seven and number ninety eight. So these are the two things which India didn't ratify. Okay, so it's they don't bind, right? They, they don't follow this. Okay, and international and again about uh, that I didn't mention. Uh, Oh, and one governance priority convention. That is labor inspection uh, convention number one point nine. See, we have this out 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 of four only three and one remaining. Out of eight only six, so two remaining. So one two three and the uh, technical one I didn't mention because there are numerous. Just go and read. And this is very important with respect to exam purpose. The International Institute of Labor Studies was established by ILO in 1960. Okay, keep in mind this is very important. I'm just trying to know when uh, International Institute of Labor Studies when was it established? 1960 by whom? By I try to know in this way. So these are the few things which we have come across, and now 
actually this much only I'll be speaking about ILO and by I hope you are all clear we have spoken about like ILO its structures and uh, international level standards and IL international level standards are two types that is recommendation and conventions recommendation is just a guidelines it's we don't have to be abide but here it's binding in nature okay no. which of the following about ILO is not true ILO is a tripartite board yes worker employer government true it was established in 1990 treaty of it passes only recommendation now it passes it's wrong because it has what recommendation and convention ILO conventions are mandatory for those countries which ratify it see it becomes mandatory you have to follow it is very true so which one of the plan is not number two but try to know see why i'm saying see, just imagine if you did not read, read about ILO let's see now will you be able to answer no but now you see after this uh, small lecture you already know yeah fine it, it comes in your mind automatically these are the principles hmm. dangers and also sometimes you will be given like uh, all those three principles and you have to find out like, which one is more so you have to know the principles also try to keep in mind this is a basic thing so and the first spectral commission was appointed in when we have, we have talked this it's 1875 yes or no let's go back to the slide of a uh, second nineteen second lecture. And here what was it? appointed what? Factories Act was enacted. False factories act. Yeah, commission was appointed. Alright. Now which of the following core conventions of ILO was ratified by India? See, it may be this type of question. And I, I got it from UGC net uh, all papers. So convention number eighty seven freedom of association number did we ratify this? See? Which we didn't ratify. 87 and 98 and number 20. So let's go. Did we ratify this one? No. Convention number 90, right to collective bargaining. No, I think. Convention number one, evolution of force labor. See? See? Convention number one, evolution of force Ratified. This is ratified once, which I told you. Just now it's fundamental. So you see, this is the answer. You want the logic? At least I hope. <coughs> Okay, everyone is very clear on this so once again we will come to the end of this uh, lecture and i just want to say thanks to all of you and keep watching and we have covered ILO i guess uh, from ne next chapter we may start with X and for your better understanding do it workman compensation During this uh, workman compensation in 1923, I start with this and trade union all those. And from now, like no more IR. Of course, I'll be dealing with IR, like uh, labor welfare all those. Like only I'll be forwarding the questions. And and from now, I have also taught one more thing. Of course, I'll be like putting up the long videos. That is around 40 minutes to 30, or yeah, let's say 50 to 60. But what happens? Like all of you, mostly we are very busy human being even me even you so we do not get time and and we know one more thing even in lecture like say classroom lectures teachers are there still we feel sleepy and without teachers just imagine 50 uh, 50 minutes of lecture is very difficult to hear so i have also made up my mind like just putting up the mcqs related to questions with respect to exams and then explaining what is why we select why not then it will be faster and it will be around 10 to 15 minutes and by the time you will be able to solve 15 questions so it's very good right so i will not go like deep in detail like what is this 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 otherwise it will take a number of months so i'll do it faster and also it will help the people that this is preparing for december 2010 and also i request uh, i like uh, tell to all the candidates those who are applying for airport and many more exams are coming i guess uh, copper copper limited and also mtnl do apply guys and these things are a good opportunity for HR guys and for a long time like HR like there were no notification actually and this time you won't believe the number of positions and I wish you good luck and I pray that all of you get good success in life and one thing in life is try to motivate yourself and do not get demotivated because you can do and you will do you need to believe yourself and that's it guys thank you before going please do subscribe and 